Welcome back to my channel. This is the quadratic equation formula, not the almighty formula. Yes, it is not the almighty formula, but the quadratic equation formula. It is used to do what to find the roots of quadratic equation. Now, you know that normally the quadratic equation comes in this form. That is the normal format of a quadratic equation is what? ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. Okay, now we are going to compare this now. You are going to notice that your A is what? Coefficient of your X squared. That is this area seen here. Your B is coefficient of your X. And your C is equal to, and your C is what? Your constant. And this C you are seeing here. Let's start with an example. I think this is going to drive this home. Okay, for example, you are asked to do what? To solve this equation using the quadratic formula. 2X squared minus 4x minus 3 is equal to 0. Now, when you're giving something like this, this is what you do. You bring out your a, your b, and your c, okay? Then you substitute it into this particular formula and use it to get the solution. Let's do this. If you look at this, when you compare this with this, the coefficient of your x squared is your a. That means the coefficient of your x squared here is 2. It means that 2 is equal to a. Or just say a is equal to 2. Okay? Now, if you notice that coefficient of your x is your b. Now, coefficient of your x is what? Minus 4. So, it means that our b is equal to minus 4. Yes. Take note. Minus 4 and not 4. Okay? You pick your number together with any sign that is in front of it. Now, your c as well. When compared to this, your c is your constant. And our constant here is what? Minus 3. Finish. The next thing you need to do now is to substitute these values into this particular equation. And they are done. Now, let's do that together. Notice that we said that our x is equal to what? Now, what is our b? Our b is minus 4. So, there is minus here originally in our formula. We are not going to throw it away. We are going to write that first. Before we write our what? Minus 4. Before we write our minus 4. Now, plus or minus, plus or minus, square root of b squared, square root of, now what is our b? Our b is minus 4, minus 4 squared is what we are going to write now, because our b is what? Minus 4. Do you understand? Yes. So, our b is minus 4, so we are going to square it, which is what I just did here. Minus 4 into, that is 4 times a times c. Now, what is our A? Our A is 2. Okay? Our A is 2. So, we are going to write our 2. And our C is minus 3. Minus 3. So, we are going to write our minus 3. Okay. Divided by. Divided by 2A. That is 2 times our A is 2. So, 2 times 2. That's, uh, yeah, that's that. Now, we go ahead and solve. Our uh, x now is equal to minus times minus is going to give us what? Plus, right? So, we end up having 4 here. Plus or minus square root of. Now, minus 4 squared means minus 4 times minus 4. Minus times minus will give you plus. 4 times 4 will give you what? 16. So, you notice that this becomes what? 16 minus. You have what? 4 into 2 times minus 3 give you minus 6. So you have your minus 6 here. Everything divided by 2 times 2 is going to give you 4. So let's continue. Now what do you have? You have that your x now is equal to 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 4 times minus 6 will give you plus 24. Because minus times minus will give you what? Plus divided by 4. Now, our x is equal to 4 plus or minus square root of 16 plus 24 is going to give you 40. Yes, 16 plus 24 will give you 40. So, you write 40 over what? Over 4. Now, this is where you do what? You need to find what? The value of root 40. Yes, you need to find the value of root 40. Now, let me check. Square root of 40, we give you 6.3246. 6.3246. So, 
So we're now going to have that your x Okay, your x is equal to what? 4 plus or minus, we have what? 6.3246. 6.3246. Everything divided by 4. Now, just look closely and see how I'm going to bring out the values of our x now. So we have two values of our x inside this particular place now. The first value is that our x is equal to 4 plus, I'm going to take the positive sign. Okay, 4 plus, you have 6.3246 divided by 4. This is the first one. Or your x is equal to 4 minus, you take the negative, okay? 6.3246, everything divided by 4. Yes, very easy. So you're not going to solve these two to get the value of our x. We solve the 2 to get the value of our x. Okay, let's do that. So we now have that our x is equal to 4 plus this will give you 10.3246. So let's solve 10.3246 divided by what? By 4. And see what it's going to give us. 10.3246 divided by 4. We give you 2.5812. 2.5812. Or for the second one, 4 minus 6.3246 will give you minus 2.3246. Minus 2.3246. Okay? Now, divided by 4, you are going to have minus 0 0.5812. Now, these are the two values of, of, of what? Our x. If this is the first time you are coming across my video, this is the time I think you should do what? Click on that subscription button because for you to follow me to this stage means that you actually enjoy what I'm doing. So please click on that uh, follow button and also like, comment and share so that this particular video will be directed or will be distributed more to students that need it for their exam. Okay? All right. Thank you so very much. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.